How's everybody doing today? Thank you all so much for coming to the kickoff of the 2023 Animation Swim Festival. And the US IMAX premiere of Hayao Miyazaki, The Boy of Art. Quick housekeeping things. Um, the next uh, five days, it's a whole festival, this is just the kickoff. Uh, the next five days uh, would not be possible without the uh, enormous support of our festival founders, uh, G Kids, the AMC International Animation Film Festival, the panel next time, I'm doing that thing somewhere. Uh, Ryan Magazine, Peter De Bruges, uh, thank you so much. Uh, but also uh, the generous support of our industry sponsors. We're going to have a list that I'm going to read it, so I don't skip anything. Asipo Hollywood, Cartoon Network Studios, Crunchyroll, DreamWorks, Alma, Fathom Events, Illumination, Leica, Locksmith Animation, Netflix, Nickelodeon, Money and Money, this is Alpha, Paramount Animation, Pixar, Shutter Studios, Sony Pictures Animation, Beauty Friends, Walt Disney Animation, Warner Brothers Animation, uh, and a bunch of individuals who I don't have time to name, but you know who you are. Thank you so much for everything you do for this festival. Um, uh, every year, uh, from every part of the globe, um, the limits of what is achievable in filmmaking is being redefined, and um, that is happening a lot with the work of animation. Um, and that's what we are here to celebrate. In this cathedral of cinema, we're celebrating that idea that animation is film. This uh, festival grew out of a conversation um, to create a world-class event in Los Angeles that celebrates animation as a cinematic art form. Um, I know of no person on the planet who better represents the ethos of animation as film uh, than the co-founder of this festival um, and the, the U.S. distributor of the film you're about to watch. Uh, so please, a uh, round of applause for Eric Beckham. Hello, Los Angeles. How's everybody feeling? Um, well, as a New Yorker, it's really fun to be presenting a film here at the Chinese Theater in the heart of Hollywood. Uh, during the Czech Tech, I was talking to the theater manager, and there's so much stories uh, in, um, that have happened here. But the most interesting ones to me is you know that Charlie Chaplin and Una conceived their second child here. So, totally amazing. <laughs> so anyway, as Matt mentioned, I'm wearing three hats actually tonight. Uh, I'm a uh, founder of this fabulous festival that is here to celebrate uh, animation as a cinematic art form and to shape a Hollywood establishment to I understand that that's the case, which I think is kind of working. Um, and then the other is the founder uh, of G Kids, who for 15 years now has also dedicated themselves to presenting some of the world best animation. And, um, and it's really been a labor of love. And one of the most blessed things that happened is, and, and I don't know what I did in another life to deserve this, but we have all the films of Studio Ghibli and had a long and fruitful relationship with the Studio Ghibli. And, um, you know, it's, it's an honor, um, a blessing, and a deep responsibility that I take very, very seriously because these are some of the most fabulous uh, films in the universe. Um, at the international premiere of Boy and the Heron at Toronto Film Festival, it's the opening night film. Toronto Film Festival, Guillermo del Toro uh, did the introduction, and uh, and he he it was he wanted to express gratitude and how lucky we are in his words to be at, living at a time when Mozart is still composing, and um, <laughs> and, and this, this is really really meaningful for me. The um, Miyazaki is like a once in a generation, once in a century talent. Um, 
like Michael Jordan, Albert Einstein, Vincent van Gogh, and yes, Mozart. And just to be able to be um, able to see his newest uh, creation is just an incredible uh, honor. So I'm really thankful for that. Um, it's been 40 years since um, Monster came out. And as people who know me know that I model my philosophical life from Princess Nausicaa. Um, and since that time, just he's written, directed, animated, after Nausicaa, Castle in the Sky, Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Ponyo, and the list goes on. And these films are still as fresh today as they ever were, um, and are still as, as resonant today. And in fact, the audience for these films has grown year on year. We do, we present an annual uh, event that lasts for about six months of the year called Jubilee Fest. We present the films in theaters. And so we've done six years of this every single year. And every year it grows. And every year more fans discover the, um, you know, the really amazing films. Um, in a time when a lot of animation is like a corporate product, uh, a lot of big money behind it, um, coming out of sort of computer-driven animation factories, Studio Ghibli is small. Studio Ghibli uh, films are artisan and they're handmade. And I think that the um, humanity that's in these films is only possible uh, through that, that mechanism. Um, and this film, Boy and the Heron, is Hayao Miyazaki's most personal film. I don't want to spoil anything about the film for you, uh, but it's a figure of a man at 82, uh, spending, you know, six plus years making a movie. Um, it, it is, I would say, his most personal movie. In March, I was at Studio Ghibli watching the film for the first time, and after about five minutes, just tears came down my eyes. And and again, it's just, there's another kind of Miyazaki film in the world. And that's something for us all to be super, super grateful for. So, without further ado, I want to continue. We can see you in the next year, and I'm Miyazaki, Boy and Aaron.